Pilot Dwayne Carey at the controls, uh, getting a few minutes of stick time before he hands it over to Commander Scott Altman. Columbia now at the heading alignment circle, time to touch down three and a half minutes. An early morning wake-up call for the residents of the Florida Space Coast. Twin sonic booms as Columbia has gone subsonic. Commander Scott Altman now flying Columbia, executing an overhead right-hand turn of 250 degrees to align Columbia with runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center. Time to touch down three minutes. Copy, Houston, on at 180. Commander Scott Altman now about three quarters of the way around the turn. Three miles in altitude. Columbia Houston on at the 90. Houston Columbia copies on at the 90. Thank you. Good view out of the pilot point of view camera. Altman now uh, aligning Columbia. You'll see the runway in sight. Columbia Houston on glide slope on center line. Houston, Columbia, field in sight on a beautiful night. We copy field in sight, Columbia. Columbia now perfectly aligned with runway 33. Again, the southeast and northwest approach to the three mile long landing strip. Altman now beginning to flare up Columbia's nose. Columbia over the runway, geared down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Carry deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Columbia rolling out on runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 3.9 million mile mission to improve the power and the vision of the Hubble Space Telescope. Columbia, we'll stop KSC. Meet on 5-3. Columbia, Houston, we copy. We'll stop. 
Welcome back, and we'd uh, like to congratulate you all on a very successful mission servicing the Hubble Space Telescope. We have no post-landing deltas.